What brings you out this way? What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever a few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and it's hard for her to get up and about. So I, I want to... I want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Here's your flowers, Billy. Well, thank you. Now, many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right, maybe just for a minute. It's my other half, lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. This a man helped me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and a good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. And Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. Huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle... Baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. <laughs>